Thank you, Les Kion Corla. I want to welcome the, this debate at the start of the Dáil term, and hopefully it indicates some uh, hope of real commitment and real urgent action by the government on this uh, most important uh, issue. Um, the, it's opportune as well, the debate today, seeing as it's on the eve uh, of what is likely to be the, the biggest global cli climate mobilisation ever, led, led by school strikers tomorrow. Millions uh, of people around the world uh, will come together under the banner, banner of Unite, uh, Unite Behind the Science, and calling on leaders uh, everywhere to deliver, an, uh, to deliver an urgent and dramatic increase in, in action. Uh, in Ireland, these strikes will take place right across the country, and in my own hometown of Clanmel, there will be an event at the main guard at uh, 1 o'clock tomorrow. And I would encourage uh, anybody who can uh, to turn out in support of that, uh, that action. It's also uh, opportune insofar as it's in advance of next Monday's meeting of the UN Climate Action uh, Summit. Uh, and that summit has been called by the Secretary General ahead of the entry into force of the Paris uh, Agreement in 2020 in recognition of the dangerous disconnect between current emissions reductions, uh, reduction pledges and what is needed to deliver on the Paris goals. Uh, and the General Secretary uh, in his own words, and I quote him, said, preventing irreversible climate disruption is the race of our lives uh, and for our lives. The, about, uh, about a year ago, the IEPCC published its darkest warning yet on the risks of, and impacts of overshooting uh, a temperature rise of 1.5 degrees centigrade. Uh, currently, we remain on course for a warming of more than three degrees centigrade. And that, of course, will have catastrophic implications for society and for the, and for the environment. And the IPCC has also warned us that we have to cut our emissions in half within the next 10 years if we are to stand the chance of limiting warming to 1.5 uh, degrees centigrade. And as a rich nation with a high per capita admission, Ireland should be doing more by 2030 and reaching net zero admissions well before that target, the target date of, uh, 20, of 2050. Uh, I think it's important too, Les Clown Corley, to recognise that uh, wealthy societies, wealthy countries uh, like Ireland with high admission rates high emission rates, uh, have yet to experience the persistent reality and the devastating impact of climate change. Currently, it's the poorest countries, the poorest people, uh, and uh, the most vulnerable people uh, have, who are being affected. Uh, yet, they have contributed least to the, least to the problem. Um, I, Ireland needs uh, to uh, recognise the urgency uh, and increase the national ambition in relation to this, uh, this issue. I think it's important, finally, Les Kion Corla, to remember that 100 large companies are responsible for 71% for of admissions. Uh, and it certainly is not acceptable and will not be acceptable to put the burden of dealing with climate change on the backs of ordinary people. The, the companies uh, who are producing the huge admissions uh, should be targeted and made pay. Gormagut. Gormagut. Now